This is the latest uh, version of iSimulate that you can see up on the board here at the moment. It's obviously one iPad controlling another iPad using a piece of Wi-Fi. If I want to change the monitor interface, let's say for example that you're used to using a LifePack 15, then I'm able just to change the monitor screen and we'll now start working on an, a LifePack 15 rather than a Zar. Um, I can just add in the vital signs here to start and give you more and more vital signs and sounds and other things. I'm going to show you a bit of fun because um, I know that you guys out there in the sim world like things that are a bit geeky. So let's say we're going to do a 12 BDCG. We're going to do that on a 50 year old male. It's going through the acquiring like the real device would and then it will bring up the 12 lead ECG. Now the amazing thing is that ECG is matching exactly the rate and morphology that I've chosen to send across from my screen here. We have nine different monitors at the moment with more coming every week that we're able to put up onto the screen. And it is just one iPad controlling another iPad. Let's say I want to make the patient, excuse me, let's say I want to make the patient a little bit tachycardic now. Uh, I want to desaturate them, I want to increase the respiratory rate as an example of just a few changes. I'm going to ask that to take just 20 seconds, I'm going to push go and the patient will now become sick over that time. You can see that happening on the monitor interface as well as on the screen here. When I'm ready I can throw the patient into VF, I've got VF here as a rhythm. So when I feel that the time is appropriate I will shove the patient into VF and you'll see that the uh, uh, traces all drop out in line with what you would expect. So if you're doing CPR, we've got this CPR wristband um, and you can see again now that by doing the CPR I'm getting my depth of compression, my rate of compression, I'm getting my recoil and I'm getting my perfusion index. You can wear this around your wrist, you can mount this inside the mannequin so we're able to, to take data from a number of different sources for you to recreate your CPR. The other thing that it's doing, if you can look at the top part of the screen, is here's your CPR artifact occurring. So again, we're using see-through CPR on the Zoll here, uh, so you're able to see beyond that. But this device on its own will recreate for you the CPR artifact and stop the students staring at the screen if they don't have see-through CPR on. We're big fans of iSimulate. We have been for a long time, but the technology is getting better every, every time they release something new. Thanks for your time today. Uh, I'm Dave. I'm from LifeCast and iSimulate.